Now let's see this example. Construct PDA for the language L is equal to A power I, B power J, C power K such that J is equal to K where I comma J comma K is greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So here J and K values must be same. Uh, next regarding I it is our choice we can take any number of I's. So here J is nothing but B value. K is nothing but C value. So the number of B's and C's must be same. So if you take the language number of strings, language means a collection of strings. Here in the first string, we have two B's, two C's. So number of B's and C's are equal. Regarding A's, it is our choice. Just we have taken one A. So A double B double C is the first string. If we consider the second one, here we have taken 1b as well as 1c. So number of b's and number of c's are equal. So regarding a's, it is our choice. So three a's are taken. So likewise, we can take infinite number of strings. So here number of b's and c's must be same. Whereas regarding a's, it is our choice. Let's see the logic here. Step one, if the input symbol is a, then the content of the stack is unchanged. Why? Because here we can take as many A's as we want. Next step 2. If the input symbol is B, then push the B onto the stack. Next step 3. If the input symbol is C, then pop the stack. Why? Because here number of B's and C's must be equal. So if you take a string like this. So A double B. A double B. Next double C. If you take a string like this, here number of B's and number of C's are same. If the input symbol is A, then the content of the stack is unchanged. Initially, let us assume that uh, let we have three A's, let we have four A's. B's and C's are equal. Initially, the stack contains Z0. Here the input symbol is A. So content of the stack is unchanged. Input symbol is A. So stack content is unchanged. Stack content is unchanged. Stack content is unchanged. Next, if the input symbol is B, push. Next, input symbol is B, push. Next, input symbol is C, pop. Input symbol is C, pop. So, now we will get the final state as well as stack is empty. So, we can say that our logic is correct. So, now let us write the transition functions. And based on the transition functions, we have to draw the transition diagram. Okay. So let us see the first transition function. Uh, let uh, the input string is like this. Let the input string is uh, triple A double B double C. So number of A's, number of B's and C's must be same. Regarding A's, it is our choice. Here the last symbol is epsilon. If you reach epsilon, then it specifies that all the symbols, uh, all the symbols on the input string are over. Uh, if it reaches epsilon, then it specifies end of the input string. Uh, initially, we are at Q0 state. Uh, let we have a stack like this. Initially, the stack contains Z0. The initial symbol is Z0. So, Q0 comma. The, uh, let the input symbol is A. So, content of the stack is Z0. If the input symbol is A, then don't perform any operation on the stack. Content of the stack is unchanged. But for the first A, change the state. So change the state from Q0 to Q1 and keep the Z0 as it is. So now the input symbol is A. So keep the Z0 as it is. Next, read head points to the next symbol. So delta of, now we are at Q1 state, Q1 comma. Input symbol is A. And stack stop more symbol is Z0. So for the first A only, change the state. For the subsequent A's, there is no need to change the state. Rem uh, stay remains at Q1 state only. So stay remains at Q1 state only. The content of the stack is unchanged. So now the input symbol is A. So don't perform any operation on the stack. Next, read head points to next A. So next also, we are at Q1 state only. Input symbol is A. Content of the stack is Z0. 
So stay at Q1 only, content of the stack is unchanged. So there is no need to write the transition function one more time. Why? Because this transition function is already written. So delta of Q1 comma A comma Z0, it is already written. So there is no need to write one more time. So now the read head points to B. So delta of uh, Q1 comma, input symbol is B comma and content of the uh, initial symbol present in the stack is Z0. If the input symbol is B, then do the push operation. For the first B, change the state. Whereas for the remaining Bs, there is no need to change the state. So this is first B. So change the state. Here the state changing is our choice. According to our logic, we can change the state or we may stay at that state only. No problem. State changing is our choice. So Q2 comma. Now push this B onto the stack. B Z0. So now push this B onto the stack. Next, delta of. Now read head points to next B. Now we are at Q2 state. Q2 comma. Input symbol is B. And the stack stop mode symbol is B. So for the remaining Bs, for the remaining Bs, there is no need to change the state. Okay. Stay at Q2 only. So if the input symbol is B, then what we have to do? Push B onto the stack. So now we will be at Q2 state only. Push this B. So now the content of the stack will become BB. So now this B will be pushed. So now we are at which state? Q2 state. Uh, next, uh, read head points to C. C and stack stop mode symbol is B. If the input symbol is C, then what we have to do? Here Bs and Cs are same. So if the input symbol is C, then do the pop operation. If the top mode symbol is B. Okay. For the first C, change the state. For the remaining Cs, there is no need to change the state. So this is first C. So change the state from Q2 to Q3. Do the pop operation. In order to denote the pop operation, we are writing epsilon. Epsilon means we are doing the pop operation. So now this B will be popped from the stack. Next read head points to the next C. So now we are at which state? Q3 state. Q3 comma. Input symbol is C. Stack stop mode symbol is B. If the input symbol is C and stack stop mode symbol is B, then do the pop operation. Here the first C only. For the first C only change the state. For the remaining Cs, there is no need to change the state. Stay at Q3 only. So Q3 comma, do the pop operation, epsilon. So here C, B. So pop. So next read head points to epsilon. So delta of, now we are at Q3 state. Input symbol is epsilon, content of the stack is Z0. The topmost symbol present in the stack is Z0. If he reaches epsilon, then it specifies that the operation on all the symbols are over. That means we reached the end of the string. So we need to traverse from Q3 to final state. Let the final state is Q4. Now we can keep this Z0 as it is or we can remove this Z0 by popping, by writing epsilon. It is our choice. Okay. I am writing Z0 only. So keep that uh, Z0 as it is. Okay. Now let us draw the transition diagram. Let us draw the transition diagram. So here how many states are there? Four states. So Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Four states are there. Q0, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So five states. So totally we have five states. Five states. So Q0, from Q0 to we are traversing to Q1. So Q0, input symbol is A. Input symbol is A. Stack stop mode symbol is Z0. Then keep the Z0 as it is. Next on Q1. On Q1. Input symbol is A. A stack stop mode symbol is Z0. Keep the Z0 as it is only. Next Q1 to Q2. So on Q1. Input symbol is B. Stack stop mode symbol is Z0. Then push. So B Z0. Next on Q2. This is self loop. So input symbol is B. Stack stop mode symbol is B. So do the push operation. Next on Q2. Input symbol is C. Input symbol is C. Stack stop mode symbol is B. Then pop the stack. Next on Q3. Self loop. Input symbol is C. Stack stop mode symbol is B. Do the push operation. On Q3. Input symbol is C. 
input symbol is epsilon so for space constraints i am writing here and stack stop motion symbol is z not keep that z not as it is so this is the transition diagram now let us design the pda so m equal to q comma sigma comma tau comma delta comma q not comma z not comma f so here what are the states q not q1 q2 q3 q4 and what is sigma input alphabet mainly contains three symbols a b c and then what is tau so tau means stack alphabet here the stack alphabet contains only b's if the input is a then we are not performing any operation if the input is b we are doing the push if the input is c we are doing the pop so here the stack alphabet contains only two symbols b and z not next one is delta so these are the transition functions q not is the initial state z not is the starting symbol present in the stack and what is the final state q4 is the final state so in this way we can solve this problem please like the video subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching